Do not wait. That's the message one local woman is sharing when it comes to your health. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Ken's 5 reporter Jeremy Baker tells us about a new treatment bringing new hope to many. Called vitiligo, and it's an autoimmune disorder. It causes you to lose pigmentation or color in patches anywhere on the body. For many with the condition, it doesn't just change the color of the skin, but so many aspects of their daily life. I would walk around with a uh kind of like a straight face, really like really no expression, kind of moody. Tara Robles developed vitiligo early in life, but it didn't develop aggressively until she was in her 40s. It made her very self-conscious. During the pandemic, it was actually kind of nice because I could wear a face mask and a ball cap. It would often keep her from going anywhere. I just would stay inside, kind of be a little introvert because I just didn't want to be stared at. I had a really white, white spot right mm -hmm. here. Patients with vitiligo can be impacted negatively with um, stigmatization, psychological stress because of their appearance. So it really makes a difference when you see patients that just feel overall more confident in their own skin. Vitiligo affects 70 million people around the world and close to 3 million people in the U.S. Almost 50% of people develop the skin condition before the age of 20. Men and women are equally as susceptible. Up until recently, there was no FDA-approved treatment for the condition. Then came Opsilura. It was initially approved for eczema, so we tried it on her off-label because I knew that the indication for vitiligo was likely coming. And after just a few months, the difference in Robles' skin is dramatic and her life no longer locked down. It's just good to see her living a better life because of this treatment. I feel confident. I don't feel like people are staring at me and I don't feel freakish. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5.